today I'm going to be following a tutorial that Drawing with Waffles recently did. Even though it was like a month ago, I still really want to do this video. So I kind of got the idea from Minty Sketchbook. She did a video of following Drawing with Waffles tutorial. In Drawing with Waffles video, she had, uh, I think it was six ideas of things you can draw when you're bored or you want to draw and you just don't know what to draw but I just did four for this video so in the beginning um, one of her ideas was drawing blobby animals I actually didn't exactly do the whole blobby part of the thing kind of messed that up but uh, so the first one I did was a little rhino they kind of all just turned out like babies, which is fine, but, but I do think he turned out kind of cute. So then I went in with line art, and then I decided to do a cat. The cat was one of the most detailed out of all of them, and wasn't exactly my favorite. So then um, I tried to think of the most blobbiest animal there is, and I think a panda is very blobby, so I drew that. And if you have not seen a baby panda, look it up because they are so cute. Uh, and then I, I realized that I was doing a theme without thinking. All of these animals can be like a gray or black and white. I mean, the cat can be other colors. So I decided to keep that theme and drew a zebra. Made the feet kind of noodly. <laughs> Not blobby, but newly. And then I also decided to do one more little panda laying down. Uh, so then I went in with color to color them all. And, um, yeah. Um, the pandas were really fun to color, especially doing like the eyes. I don't know, that was just really fun. And then the zebra was fun too with the stripes and everything. Um, Mine were kind of thick stripes, but. And I just added some shading. And then I decided to tie in the whole page. I decided yellow. I just, it just needed a uh, touch of color. So I went in with yellow. I decided it needed brighter yellow. So I went over all that. I just had added little shapes and stuff to make it more fun. Um, and overall, I really like it. My favorite is probably the zebra. But I also do like the rhino and the panda. I like the zebra. The blobbiest one is probably the rhino. So, the next one is drawing a character inspired by food. I was trying to think about what I wanted to do, what movie I felt like eating. I actually felt like drinking a frappuccino though. So, I just drew a little doodle of a frappuccino. And, uh, yeah. So, started out with a sketch. This sketch did not last long because ended up not liking the sketch. So I just grabbed a new sheet of paper and so I could stick it on. Um, for the character, I feel like coffee is very kind of a relaxing kind of drink, a very chill drink. So I thought it'd be a very relaxed type of person in kind of comfy clothes. Um, I mean, I know that coffee does sometimes make people very uh, spazzy um, with the caffeine. Uh, for me, it makes me it does the opposite effect. It makes me very tired for some reason. Um, this one definitely turned out a lot better. So I kind of was thinking on the comfy, you know, zone of clothes. So I decided to draw her some sort of baggyish pants. And then for like the whipped cream, um, I was thinking of some type of like, not almost like a sweater. Because like whipped cream you put on top, it's like another layer. And also I wanted to give her a beanie. On her head for more whipped cream and then for the caramel like a braid like the caramel is drizzling over uh for the pants i did a normal coffee color uh, i decided to give her like sandals flip-flops i don't know <laughs> that was just kind of random and uh, for the mm, her shirt i wasn't quite sure what color to do but i just it needed like a dark color so i just gave her like a chocolate so it could either be the straw or just some chocolate drizzle. Anyway, I really like this drawing and I I was thinking of a name, but I think she should just be Frap. And oh, there you see, I 
that last sketch I used as a test for my colors. So I just slapped that on, put on some washi tape, and it was done. Okay, so the next one in drawing of Ruffles video was to draw a flower of flowers. We draw like a pattern. That's what she kind of did. But I just looked up a picture and I used alcoholic markers. I started with um, light colors first and then started building more darker colors on top. Um, I started with this one pink color, but it was a little bit dull. So I kind of added some other pink colors on top. I honestly probably could have gone even longer with this drawing. But for sake of time, I made myself stop because I probably could have kept going for like another hour or two to make it more detailed. Um, so it's not exactly refined, but um, I still like it. I love the colors in this picture. Usually I don't draw flowers or plants, so um, honestly it wasn't that bad. I, usually I find flowers really boring, but... And then I uh, just taped this one in as well. So the next one, this is the last one that I chose. So what she did, um, she, Adorno Fawfuls, said to just pick, you know, any color. And you would, anything that reminds you of the color that you have chose, you dropped. So I chose, I wanted to kind of match the theme of I was going, so kind of did like a bluish gray um this one was a little bit more tough for me maybe it was just the color but um the first thing i thought of was like a rainy cloud and i added some little raindrops and then i kind of thought a while and i was thinking i think of like a bluebird so i looked up a bluebird and i did a little blue jay so then i also got a couple different other blue colors just to as a variation and so i was kind of stumped on thinking of any other ideas so i just looked up the color blue and just to get some ideas but then i thought it was some blueberries so i drew three little blueberries i also saw some pretty blue butterflies uh i think i should have spaced these out a little bit further from the blueberries but that's fine um so that was fun just a light blue and then some dark in the middle and then the last one I saw too, just a random picture I saw, was some blue jellyfish. This one actually was really fun. I just did like a blue circle and then took my, just my clear marker and added the kind of clear parts to the jellyfish. Actually that one was probably one of my favorites out of those little doodles. So yeah, that was actually really fun. And it doesn't require that much like pressure. To make something that looks super good so yeah i taped that one in as well actually i kind of rearranged the pictures to set it more nicely and then i actually got rid of the washi tape and got two different ones that would match the page a little better but yeah i really enjoyed drawing of waffles video for things that you if you don't know what to draw and I really like the ideas that she did, so you should do it too, and I'll have a link to her video, also in the D-Sketchbooks video that she did too. Hope you guys enjoyed watching, and I'll see you later. Bye!